It still really does get a lot of blip. I'm not sure how much she deserves it. Like, I feel like she does deserve it, but I'm not sure she deserves all of it. <laughs> then again, she probably has built up quite the reputation, is my impression. Uh, before I head off to try to track down the bear claw, which is apparently a flower, let's talk to the old good father. Where one soul is touched by a blinding light, it becomes conscious of the darkness within and embraces a contrite spirit. Especially those who are tormented by the sins of their past. Glances at Joshua. I'm, I don't know anything, but I, I have a hunch on that one. Oh yeah, yeah, the, no. The game's sort of foreshadowing it. <laughs> However, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain and suffering of others and reach a greater plane of it. insight. <laughs> That's a good point. I suppose not everyone does. Most people don't, but some people probably do. Um, what is important for the individual is preparing for the future and deciding what one can do. One wants to do. You see, this is the sort of thing where she absolutely deserves it because she is like a. T she's a bit of an airhead. Oh, hey, this is the girl in uniform I was looking for earlier. I, s I guess she's not as much of an airhead as Estelle. On the other hand, Estelle also gets a lot of grief for being a tomboy, and on that note, that is, I really think is undeserved. I mean, she is a bit of a tomboy, but she doesn't deserve the grief she gets over it. Anyway, um... Is this the right way? Uh, let's double check the uh, quest notes. Uh, the former is the Forest of Mistwild, south of Roland. Okay, that's what it says. Can I even go this way? I guess I can. These look like, uh... Blossom Movers? Lily Mover, that's the one. That's the name. I mean, they're gonna just shoot me and there's nothing I can do about it, but... It didn't hurt that much. I wonder if I get better boots, if it'll make me move faster. Or maybe move further. That would be good too. Oh, okay, that one hurt a little bit more. A little bit more. Plus two. But I did get some good Seraph. Uh, although I say that, I really need the wind is Seraph, is what I need. Uh, okay, I know what monster that is. I do not need to fight it. It's just one of those nasty bugs. Okay, um... Hmm... I don't recognize you. Whoa! Ah, uh, damn it. Mars Sparrow. Okay, I dealt damage. Good start. Nice hustle. Chanting furiously, better kill it before it does something. That's that then. Let's move out. Uh, it did give me some time, Seraph, so that's good. But it didn't give me very much, so that's not so good. Hmm. 
Let's try again. Oh, this time it has one of those nasty bugs with it. Oh well. We can at least take out the bug before it gets a chance to act. Probably not the bird, though. Although, if it does the charge thing again, I guess I still will kill it before it gets to act. Yep, that's the one. That's that then. Let's move out. Okay, I've maxed out Joshua's CP. He's also about to level up. Oh, that actually... Maybe I should be fighting the bugs. They give me Wind Seraph, and that's the type that I need. Okay. Yeah, let's do this! Wind! Ah, uh, Joshua, you didn't even kill it. You can do better, can't you? I mean, hopefully. Yeah, I think you would have two-shot that regardless. Well, actually, no. You would have been a little bit short. Estelle still hits harder than you do. At least on a regular turn. Yeah, 90 does not quite cut it. But 120 does. Yeah, that is a pretty common uh, occurrence in... JRPGs, isn't it? You kind of scale up after a while. In this case, it's because of that I want... Like, I don't even care about the experience here, but I do care about the, um... the gems that they drop. They give me the green ones, which are wind, and these give me the black ones, which are time. And they're, those are the two types that I have the least of and want the most. Um... I want the time one, just because it seems it's needed to make a lot of good abilities. Uh, and I want the wind one because I need it to be able to equip more abilities. Okay, uh, yeah, that, that hurt. Turns out, sparrows are dangerous after all. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> okay, critical boost. No, Estelle, you didn't finish it off! Well, as long as they don't both hit Joshua, he'll probably be fine. Uh, definitely that one. I don't know that you can reach there, so better just heal Joshua to be safe. Well, yeah, that definitely hurts a bit. Are they? I was unaware of that, um, association with sparrows. I suppose it makes sense, though. They are songbirds. At least I think they're songbirds. Are sparrows songbirds? TBH, I know more about corvids. Okay, that says Miss Walt. That's where I'm going, right? Uh, Miss Walt's south. Oh no! Flying cats! These guys can be a little bit scary. Um, I mean, they're easy enough to kill, but they hit pretty hard if you let them hit you. I'm not going to let them hit me. Finish off the cat. Maybe... You know what, actually? I think I will just have you stand back here. Maybe top yourself off. Or maybe use airstrike. Because I think you're far enough away that the bug won't be able to hit you. Well, apparently that one could hit you. Kind of a... Uh... I was right, though. The bug could not hit Estelle. But it, it could reach 
Joshua, so that sort of somewhat defeats the purpose. I'm afraid. <laughs> Right, uh, let's just... How? 108? I think that is, like, too short of where I need it. Oh no, Joshua got a little bit stronger with his level up. I guess that makes sense. We're good to go. Oh, well, actually, no, that's good. I got, I got the wind. I think I need seven more before I can unlock another, uh, another gem slot. I'm gonna call it a gem slot. It's like an orbit or something. Orbiment. But no, it's a gem slot. <laughs> Let's see... Oh, I saw a bug there. Do I even want to be down here? I mean, you know, I'm gonna look around the clearing. There's another bug. I'm probably going to fight that bug. I do not want to go to the new area. Also, I can rotate the camera. Let's do that. Uh, is this the back? I'm... No, it was the front. No, Estelle. You're supposed to go after the other back. Probably could have chose a better target there. Um, oh well. Ah, they missed, so it's fine. The enemy being bad makes my mistake okay. You've definitely knocked the spell quite far back. Kind of annoying, actually. Oh, and Joshua can't hit you there either. Because Joshua cannot reach. There's an actually an interesting thing about this game. Like, it's a small difference, but it's something that I've noticed quite often. Like, a spell can hit exactly one space further away from herself than Joshua can. Yes, exactly. Ugh, that knockback, though. I'm sure at some point there will be an enemy that has a long-range attack that just it's, doesn't deal a lot of damage, but is really frequent. And I'll just never be able to ca catch them, because they'll keep hitting me further away. That will be interesting when it happens. Probably that'll be a good time to use magic. But not this time. They simply do not deal enough damage for me to care. Okay, there was another bug around here somewhere, right? Well, I don't see it. And the forest is this way. Don't really... wait. How much time do I... stuff do I have? Uh, 41. I ideally want at least 50, but I'll probably fight something inside. And I'll save it for the way back. I definitely feel like there should be a box here. Still just a little short there, aren't you, Joshua? Yeah. Well, I almost have my limit, my uh, CP fully built up. It's not just a limit gauge, it's for other stuff too, but I think of it as a limit gauge. Because it lets me use uh, these attacks at 100 or higher. I still don't know if I can use it twice if I'm at 200. I need to test that out. Maybe on the next boss type battle I run into. That, that seems like a good idea. 
I'm gonna be set up for it, so... Yes, wind power! Oh, whoops, I did not even see that bird. It is actually really easy to do that. Like, I think, I think this game has actually struck a really good balance in that regard. Like, um... It's really... It's easy to avoid enemies, but it's also easy to... Because they're all on the map and they don't move that quickly. But because it's hard to see them until you're really close to them, it makes it really easy to run into them by accident. Uh, that's a good question. I can tell you they get a hell of a lot harder when you run into more enemies. Because uh, that 15 minute battle I was talking about earlier, that was against like 7 enemies. And, well, I, I, I died a few times before I got that one right. Oof, that hurts a bit. I should probably heal Joshua. Let's just, let's just heal Joshua. Let's play it safe. I don't think a cell can finish off one of the, one of the burbs. So... Yeah, probably not from full HP. That that probably was not going to happen. Okay, burb gone. One burb to go. Uh, I think it's your turn to heal yourself now. Upside the head, it's gonna get one more turn to do that. Still hits pretty hard. Everything in this game seems to do that. That's that then. Let's move out. Got lots of time though. Also, some whatever the top one is, Earth probably. Yeah, it's brown, it's probably Earth. 